I didn't bury a single wire, and yet this robot mapped my entire lawn and then did this. Let's start with what makes the AnthBot Genie 600 different. No boundary wire. That alone made me skeptical. Instead, it uses satellite positioning and visual navigation. The app walks you through setup, and in under 30 minutes, Wi-Fi was connected, the mower was set up, and it had scanned and mapped my lawn and knew all the flower bed borders. The mapping feature was surprisingly precise. I went with the auto mapping just to see if it would run outside the lines, and I was very pleased to see it followed the lawn's border nearly perfectly. The only exception was a quick jaunt over the border and onto this ground cover, likely because it was growing over the barrier and was a similar color green. But it caught itself before hitting any taller plants, turned itself around, and continued around the border appropriately. Then it started to mow. The mow lines were crisp. It cuts in clean, efficient rows thanks to its intelligent path planning, not the usual random robot lawn chaos. Plus, the adjustable cutting height worked great. It did miss a few small strips, maybe two to three inches wide and a couple feet long, but for the amount of area it got perfectly, this was an acceptable miss for me. Plus, it picked up the miss spots easily when I ran it the next day. You get about two hours per charge, which is more than enough for a fifth acre lawn. If you've got a slightly larger space, it automatically returns to the base when low and resumes again once charged. And unlike traditional mowers, it's really quiet. You can barely hear it over a light breeze. I love that it reduces the mower noise pollution and keeps my yard peaceful while trimming perfectly. But here was my big concern. Would it really avoid obstacles? My kids are constantly leaving stuff on the lawn, and as much as I love the idea of not having to mow, I'm also not crazy about the idea of picking up a thousand tiny shards of whatever toy they left out. Plus, I was a little worried about kids and pets sharing a space with the mower if it wasn't good at dodging stuff. So, I left out balls, a garden hose, and some toys and let the dogs run free while it did its thing. The Genie 600 avoided them all in real time. No bumps, no tangles, and no torn up toys. It slowed down around obstacles and rerouted like a pro. If you're as tired as I am of manual mowing, this might be the mower that makes robot mowing a viable option for any lawn. With others, I was skeptical about the edge wire I'd have to lay and the random patterns that seemed to miss half the lawn. The Genie 600 was incredibly easy to set up and mowed my lawn beautifully right out of the box. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Like and subscribe for more real-world reviews of smart home gear that actually works.